Hello everybody, in this video tutorial I will show you how to generate auto automatically longitudes and latitudes of your spatial object in data table and first of all you should go to project object shift and right click first of all install GeoPy module in command line like this now this model have been download and now we can use and now we can to begin to use it we have a uh, data table is a csv format file here is a data that we will use is comma separate data and now right click and enter to command line so in this future tutorial we will use Jupyter Notebook so open it by command line new Python Notebook and let's name this our data frames your statistical test Okay, first of all, import required modules. This is OS, and what is most important is Pandas. Shift Enter, go to next line, and execute the current line. So, first of all, check OS module. Check OS module will catch our files that we will use in folder, in project folder. Here is these files. Okay, so the, we should define the variable that will storage our data imported from CSV file. And the variable will be df1. Now we define uh, name of CSV file. Okay, and to be sure, we should be, we should represent data table in Jupyter. Okay, step number two is import GeoPy model. So import it. Import GeoPy model just by writing import GeoPy. Okay, and before working, we can to check all methods that we will use by using GeoPy model. As you can see, it is a Argus model, what is most interesting for geographical specialists or something like that. Okay. Step number three: set connection to OpenStreetMap app. It is a very important part of our tutorial, and for this we use method from import nominatum functionality from GeoPy model. Nominatum is a special functionality that will deal with GeoPy model. It is necessary f to transform uh, data between uh, object and IP and for this we should define a variable that will use nominatum and variable will be nom it will use nominate, nominatum functionality so next thing is to define a variable that will use geocoding for example london i okay and this variable will get a latitude and longitude from OpenStreetMap IP. We can print it out and you will see how it works. Okay, it's working. Eiffel Tower is working, it's different coordinators. And London Tower. <laughs> it's surprising that it's not in London. Okay, if you want to print only latitude, 
we write end point latitude and we get only latitude okay and what is the type of coordinators the type is location step number four set a full address the field uh, this field will be like a bridge between OpenStreetMap and OpenStreetMap API and our object defined in our data frame. Uh, for this, uh, we should connect uh, separate fields into one, into one new field. The new field will be address and address will include information from separate fields this will be address plus city plus okay plus plus state plus country okay we will have a new field address that will consist of address city country okay and state and now we have a new column this is what we had before and this is what we have now as you can see address now became much longer with all the data necessary to communicate with OpenStreetMap API for this we should send this address string string is in our column to go code method for this uh, we should use this kind of method we should prepare a new column name is coordinates that will take information from address field and in order to do that we use apply method okay as you can see now coordinate and step number five set values to longitude and latitude okay this is a final step and for this uh, we use a very simple method just to send uh, all information from API to new columns so use again apply method apply longitudes to a field and what is something special we use lambda function about lambda function I recommend to read more on internet it is a more complicated more difficult conditional sentence if argument not equal to non we should print it some information or if it's non we should write that there is no any object or no any coordinators taken from api and copy it for longitude also replace only to longitude and this is our result so uh, this is new columns with latitude enjoy